Hi there. So today I am out here and it's a little bit chilly. <laughs> it's a little bit freezing out here. Um, but I'm hoping that once I start getting a move on here, I will warm up. And I actually, as much as I love summer, uh, I also love working in this type of weather. It's like, I don't know, I'm gonna guess it's about like 55 degrees out here right now, maybe 60, uh, but it's like really nice working weather. You can just work, 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 and uh, it just, it feels really good. So anyway, I am out here kind of by a disassembled uh, succulent summer camp. <laughs> Uh, summer camp is over for the summer and I need to bring the succulents in. I had a couple of them sitting on a table that I actually used, brought it out to the front porch and I use it to display uh, a planter and decorate some things around it. But anyway, it is getting pretty chilly and oh gosh, <laughs> do you guys see that? <laughs> it was a vulture. He flew right over me. Whew. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Do you see him? Here he comes. He's like flying over there. At least he doesn't think I'm dead. Or does he? <laughs> oh, we are going to take these succulents inside and get them somewhere warm. Uh, finally, I also have a little palm out here that I brought. The hens and chick jar, I'm just going to probably leave there because it's fine. I'm going to overwinter it outside in the winter. Uh, and then my little herb planter, I will probably leave out here as well. So that will do just fine in the cold weather for a little bit, a little bit longer. All right, so let's start collecting all these things. And then the hard part is going to be finding a spot for them in my house because I have lots of plants in there already. So, all right, let's go. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with this one. I'm probably just gonna like look in here and make sure there's no bugs and we're good, there's nothing. And then just kinda, I'm gonna actually take it out of the pot here. Eee. Make sure there's no creepy crawlies. I think we're good. I don't see any in here. All right. Put this back. Take this inside. All right, so I'm just gonna put this over here for now. Um, I just have Usually we have plants in this little corner. I brought my uh, money tree outside and I just brought this back in today, but this is a cool planter. I made this out of uh, Hyper Tufa. And I know you guys have been asking about that. I can show you, my sister and I, or I can just show you. Then I just have a couple of begonias here. So I'll do that and then maybe we'll add to this collection. Making sure there's no bugs in here, but I checked them the other day and they were fine. And this is so cute, it's just a little cactus planter. Um, my sister and I made this one as well. I just put some cool rocks in here that I found and I tumbled. All right, I think I'm gonna put this over on my mantle, on my fireplace mantle, um, along with this one. This is actually a little planter that my brother made me and it is just out of some scrap metal that he had at his work. And I put a couple cactus in there and then some rocks that I found and tumbled as well. So, all right, let's go find a spot for these. All right, let's see here. This is kind of my cactus, little cactus area I usually have here. We'll put my little mermaid somewhere else. There we go. Okay, let's 
grab this string of pearls. And I think I'm going to put this one down here as well for now. Uh, just because it going from outside and having tons of uh, sunlight um, and then coming into my house is like a huge drastic uh, change. So I wanted to get like as much light as it can and uh, I'm just going to let it sit here for now. All right, last but not least, I got to bring this succulent container inside, which is going to take me a minute to inspect it for bugs. We should be good, uh, but I'm just going to take a second, look it over, make sure I'm not bringing any bugs or spiders in the house and or leaves like this, and then we'll find a spot for it. right here on my table um, but I put it outside uh, because I thought hey I might as well let it get as much sunlight as it can before I have to bring it in for the winter because then it will help it color up and boy am I glad I did that because you can see all the beautiful colors uh, that were just brought out by the sunshine and it was really colorful when I planted it but it just made it more vibrant like the reds and the yellows and uh, these blues and things and then I see actually these little leaves popped off and they're already forming their own little baby succulent on the end of them and they've got actually have roots on them as well <laughs> so I could just leave these sunny here and they'll root in and then that will grow a succulent pretty cool so anyway I'm going to move this little birdhouse planter off and I uh, find a different spot for that and we will, <laughs> you can see my rock. Another rock lover that I know, she gave me this. Her name is Julie and she, uh, she collects rocks too like I do. <laughs> but she found this and look at how pretty that is. It's got like crystal in it. And then this one, um, my nephew Simeon gave me he found it in his driveway of rocks and he thought I would like it and I do. And then up here, my husband and I, we found all of these blue rocks on Lake Leelanau and this is called Leland Blue and it's a really hard uh, rock to find but you can see they're super tiny and my husband found all of these. I didn't find any of them. Oh, he was really good at finding them. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pick one and have my sister put it like in a necklace for me. And then I also wanna give one to Julie, the girl who gave me that. And anyway, I could talk to you about rocks all day long. All right, I took everything off. And I'm just gonna redecorate that in the middle. Now if all that's left is a rocking chair I'll be fine, no, you'll be there Rocking too oh. It's a couple days later and um, I was getting all this ready and trying to put something together and then Nate came home and was like, we gotta go to the football game and I was like, oh yeah, I forgot so I had to kind of rush around and uh, get ready to go to the football game, which is super fun. We won, and now I think we're eight and zero. Oh, so that means we won eight and we lost zero, which is insane. Uh, but anyway, 
So as you can see, I ended up not putting the succulent container there. I just felt like it was kind of too busy. Um, I don't know why. I, I put it there and I loved it, but I thought it was, it was too busy. And then I thought I really wanted to get it as much sunlight as it could get. And it gets quite a lot of sun like here. As you can see, we've got, I got a window right there for uh, over the sink. And then we've got this big like sliding door window and then that window right there. Uh, but I just, I don't know, for some reason I wanted to give it a little bit more light and um, also I thought it looked a little bit too busy. So I ended up putting back my little um, planter here and this is, all this is, is it's just, just a little English ivy and it is in this cute little container here, little made out of wood and I just plop it down in there. So. Anyway, I was, I'm was i going to leave that like that, but I wanted to show you where I put the other things. So, let's see here. Yeah, down in this little corner is where I put my string of pearls. So that one was out there. And then down over here, I put my sago palm. There's a little leaf I need to pull off. And this one. Oh, there's a few more down there too. It was, those ones are fine. I'll let them brown off and then I'll pull them off. But it was getting a little bit too much rainwater out there. These don't like to be watered a ton. So yeah, I just put that down there with a bunch of my other little house plants. And then over here on the fireplace is where I put that cute little cactus next to my The Gardens of Mackinac Island book and my other cactus. And then up here is where I put my other little cactus. It's so cute, I love this one. This is the little planter that my brother made. And I just think it's so like rustic and fits a cactus perfectly. And I think it looks pretty cool next to my little Jesus bobblehead. But anyway, and I put my other ones in this room. I got a ton of my house plants just over here on this little bench and this is where they love it. So that's why I ended up putting the succulent container like right next to this kind of south facing window so it will get plenty of sunlight. And these are just kind of some of my house plants. I just got that one the other day at the little farmer's market pumpkin patch place and then that one too. But actually while we're in here, a lot of you guys ask about where I record my songs, right there. <laughs> Nothing fancy. I literally just sit right there and I sing into that microphone and I record on um, my iPad there. I just put my headphones on, plug in my guitar to that chord and um, it all gets mixed from this little box right here. And I just, record it's like it's super simple nothing fancy and yeah that's the guitar i usually record on but actually i'm writing a song for my husband for his birthday hmm. i was thinking maybe i'll play you a little bit of my song that i wrote for that i'm writing for my husband hmm, there's a spider oh it's outside oh it's outside <laughs> oh they're all they're haunting me everywhere um, okay, let me play you just a little tiny bit of the song I, I'm writing for my husband, okay? It's not completely finished yet, but I'll just play you a little bit of the first verse. When the river is low And the sun goes down When the trees are dry The leaves on the cold wet ground about when the summer ends and everything fades to the winter time 
uh, will just keep on showing up to church and singing about Jesus. And uh, the next part of the chorus talks about um, we'll keep sitting, rocking on the front porch, listening to Hank and Loretta songs. Loretta. Uh, and at least we'll have each other <laughs> when the summer is heading out of town. But anyway, thanks for listening to my song. That was kind of an impromptu, but I know a lot of you guys have been asking about um, if I have a recording studio or something like that. Nope, <laughs> nope, nothing fancy like that. Literally just my iPad and a microphone and a couple cords. So um, that's about as good as it gets around here. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, that's where I put my plants and uh, maybe I'll show you all my house plants someday. But today I also wanted to do a couple more things. We're going to go outside and I haven't been outside yet today. It is looking like it's beautiful out there, but you know, when you're just like, oh, the sun is shining. It's a beautiful day out there. And then you open the door and it's like, Whoa. and the cold air just like whips you. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's amazing out here. We gotta get outside and, ooh, bugs. I'm not sure if these are, I don't know if these are box elder bugs or stink bugs. Um, or maybe they're the same thing. I don't know. Is box elder the same as a stink bug? Oh my word, you guys, it's beautiful out here. Wowie. Well, I wanted to take you guys out here for sure and show you my beauty berry bush. It is fall right now and I have this amazing beauty berry bush and it doesn't really do much in spring, doesn't really do much in summer, and then fall rolls around and it gets these gorgeous, beautiful purple berries on it. And then as soon as the winter hits, the leaves, the green leaves from this bush start to drop and all you see is just this stalk of beautiful, almost like electric purple looking berries. It does flower like in the springtime, uh, spring slash summer, but you wouldn't even really notice it. Even if you're like walking by, you wouldn't even notice the flower on it. It's pretty in insignificant. You'd have to like get in there and inspect it to see like, oh, there's a flower in there. <laughs> uh, but then, like I said, this time of year, it really starts to shine. So I wanted to show you guys that because it's a really pretty bush for late fall winter interest. And then uh, the birds love to eat the berries on it in the winter. My sister usually comes over and she cuts on it and she uses them in her uh, pumpkin arrangements. And then she uses it to make wreaths and all kinds of different things. So anyway, let's take a look at it. So I've got it right down this pathway here. And this was probably one of the first things that my husband and I bought. I got this at Fruitland. Oh, there was a chip. Yeah, so I got this at Fruitland Flower Basket and it was this teeny tiny little bush. And now it is massive. It would get a lot bigger than this if I let it, but I come in here every single springtime and I hack it down to about like a foot and a half and it just flushes out with this beautiful green bushing. And then as you can see, we're gonna get close in here. It starts to form these beautiful purple berries. And the deeper into the plant, the deeper purple they get. But look at how beautiful that is. It's so, so, so pretty. And this thing is just covered in them. So they go all the way down the stalk, all the way to the tip. And it's just a really beautiful plant. So here it is from this side. I tried to walk over there and it's just a giant sun glare. So you can't really see anything, but yeah, it's so pretty. And then I did want to say too, this is probably the last year I'm going to have this in my garden. It is just getting way too big for me right here. I absolutely love this plant, but 
My sister loves it even more and she can actually use it for uh, things that she can sell at her farmer's market and use it for her dried flower, uh, you know, necklaces and uh, jewelry and everything that she makes. And so I feel like um, next spring, I'm actually going to dig it out and I'm going to gift it to my sister because she really loves it a lot. And uh, then that will give me lots more space to plant something else that is going to be much more low profile and you can see how far it is like coming out over my edging like my edging stops right there and it's coming out probably like four feet to be honest like up here i just have to keep trimming it back and trimming it back so i absolutely love this plant um, if I had it in a different spot, I'd probably love it more, uh, but I'm just really excited to gift it to my sister because I know that she can use it and enjoy it a lot more than I can. So anyway, I did just want to show you that I'm going to miss that plant a lot, but I know it's going to have a better home at my sister's house and she's going to do amazing things with it. She comes over every year and cuts off of it. So I'm like, you might as well just have it at your house. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it i don't just say that um i i really want to thank you for watching and clicking on my movies and uh just and le leaving comments <laughs> uh also i do want to say thank you to you guys that have bought things from my sister's uh website she texted me the other day and she's like jessica are you kidding me i sold five things off of my website and they're all from your viewers and i was like that doesn't surprise me because you guys are awesome <laughs> uh and so anyway thank you so much i'm gonna pop off before i get emotional uh but i just want to uh thank you from the bottom of my heart and thank you for supporting my sister and uh for just opening up your homes and your your hearts and your lives to to our lives so it's been a blessing it's been a pleasure and uh, i hope that you just have an amazing day bye